I said I was married, yeah? Yeah, yeah, I'm married. To the new one, it's not even making sense. Is that a hobby? Oh, I know that they were the one dating me, I was not dating them. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time, please like, share and subscribe. And if this is your first time of seeing this face, my name is Amina Isamilavia and you are welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, in this vlog, I'm just going to do a Q&A, like get to know me. Because I have new subscribers that don't really know me. They just know that I just used to do videos, walk up and down in my house, cook this and cook that, make mistake of doing massa and all I know. So that's why I decided to just do like a <laughs> get to know me vlog because i have new subscribers and i think since this year like this is the first time i'm doing like a sit and talk vlog i've always been just moving around from one place to another and i have not been consistent because of one or two things i apologize i'm really really sorry some of you that have been sending your messages we want eat vlog we want more vlog we want more content wallahi i am sorry allah Wallahi, I am sorry. <laughs> I have been going through a lot of issues. Like I have told some of you, but some of you have not told you guys. But when you read, everybody will know why I have been the way I have been. But I promise you guys, I'm trying my best. It's not going to be easy for me, but I promise you guys, I'm going to try my possible best to keep blogging. So, guys. <laughs> Uh, I said I oh, was sorry. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please, you guys, find a place in your heart to forgive me, and I am here. I promise you guys, I'll try my best. I'll try my best. So, I had to write out some of the questions I'm going to ask myself. I asked you guys to ask me questions on Instagram, like I think two times, and the the questions I was getting like it's not what i want like okay the questions were more of when will you vlog again when will you vlog again i'm like please ask me questions and then since you guys do not ask me well like reasonable tangible question i can answer i just started to sketch one or two things out i had to write it down because i'm using my phone to record we are still seeing how the lord will shine his grace on me so that i'll have a camera one day so that i'll not be writing it down so I think I'll just start with the basic. Like, let me just do my little bio. Then I'll now answer some of the questions I write down. And maybe I don't even know if the questions are what you guys want to hear, but I just think they're interesting. But if you think I should redo, you get to know me where you guys will ask me like questions that you really want to know. Like, even questions where you, you know what you want to ask me. But me, I don't, I'm not in your head, so I don't know what you want to ask me. So, my name is Amina Isa Melafia. I am 25 years old. I'm a Nigerian. I am a gone by tribe. I'm from Lutara State, but I was born and brought up in just Plateau State, and I still based in Plateau State. Um, I'm married. I got married last year, December. I am still an Amaria, yes. Even though some people have stopped calling me that, I'm like, why? It's like a title, bro. Keep calling me that, you know? <laughs> and yeah then what again yeah i'm done with school i graduated last year but i was able to go for service because my school have not yet mobilized us because my school is affiliated to abuse area actually graduated from nta television college so i have, we have to wait for our set that in the school now to graduate so that we mobilize our set together that is set 2021 so yeah we we're just praying that everything works out so that we'll be able to go i'm not really bothered about it like that i don't really know why but well whatever so uh i said i was married yeah yeah I, yeah i'm married <laughs> then uh what the key what the key okay what do i do uh i'm a social media manager i'm a content creator but i do more of social media managing now because of one or two things so i manage people's social media accounts those busy people that have a lot of content to showcase to the world but do not have time to do that that's what i do you just hire me and i do that so i have few clients i wish i can have more but alhamdulillah i'll make do with what i have then did they god <sighs> send my prayers and give me more clients so that i'll be able to start hiring other people i cannot wait for that day 
like that's just one of my prayer i pray it should be answered so uh my hobby i think i like watching movies is that a hobby ah i like watching movies sha. i'm not like to, i don't like i'm not i don't used to read novels um i won't lie Everybody like, I like to read and uh, nah, I don't do that. I prefer to watch the novel, you know, you understand me, <laughs> or listen to the novel. Yeah, when somebody's reading, I prefer to listen to it, not like read it myself. So, my like and it's like, let me just mention two. I like having fun, I like being around people that have mad vibe, like my own or more than my own. You understand? Then, my dislike. I dislike people that are, uh, I dislike people that are judgmental. I dislike people that have bad vibes all the time. Like, bro, what's up? Do you know people that are always sad? Like, their are problems always showing. They're always trying to drain your happy energy. I know. I don't like staying around those kind of people. So I'm kind of positive kind of person and all. So yeah, I think that's it for now. That's what I know. Like, my bio, like, that's just uh the one and hey, then my social media platforms i am on snapchat i'm on whatsapp i'm on facebook even though facebook i've blocked my facebook i don't know how to get back to my account i don't know i've tried everything possible but i'm still praying i should get back to my account because i love my facebook account starting a new one is not even making sense because i don't even want to talk about that i'm on instagram i'm on youtube i'm on tiktok uh yeah yeah i think that's just it so let me just start answering the questions i i wrote down okay so there are actually 20 questions i, I just randomly just selected them but i hope you guys will like the vlog if you have any questions just ask me in the comment section or on my instagram page and i'm going to answer you or create a video again to do like a mini get to know me you just to answer your questions if that's what you want yes I have but one thing I don't like meeting celebrities I like I don't like it because the moment I meet you I'm like mm. like whenever I see I'm like mm. this is not you like mm. chicken like that joy of meeting you or seeing you is not there again so I intentionally don't want to see celebrities or famous people I intentionally do that but if I see you accidentally it's okay I'm like mm, okay okay I think yeah I have I've seen famous famous people I have one or two yeah i really remember their name but i know i have <laughs> uh I, I enjoy shopping online but you know every everything is 50 50 like online like this they'll just scam you and all but i really enjoy shopping online i'm just at home pick what i want and then they bring it to me but one thing i don't like about shopping online is um the fact that um when it has to do with things that have to do with all these meters and length they say something something meters something something length or something by something i don't really understand them so i can actually just purchase something thinking it's big and then it comes small or something i think is small it will come big yeah so yeah basically that's just it what's the most trouble i've been in like I, I know i have been in one or two trouble like i have created trouble i have been in trouble i've even helped somebody to be in his own trouble but i can't really remember what's up there like uh okay uh which of the trouble like i can't really remember but i know i have like don't i like somebody that has been in trouble like i've created trouble like god uh yeah i can't remember okay but there's, there's this time there's this time like that i was dating one guy okay so I, I think i was dating two guys i'll not call their name so one of them came to see me and then the other guy also came to see me too like two of them came to see me the same day like the same day and the same time hmm. so what i did was that i had to keep one at our house junction then i had to keep one in front of my house so what i did was that the one that i kept in front of my house I had to finish talking to him first. I had to make him go. I told him that ah me, I'm not feeling fine. My head is spinning me. I want to go back inside. Blah 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 blah. My heart was just beating because I was scared for that one not to come down. Like maybe he'll think I'm wasting time. He should come close to the house. God, I was like, what should I do? Then when he left, the moment he left, I didn't even enter the house again. I just had to go to the junction to meet the other one, bro. Like I was legit scared, but I was there. Where I mean, I was. I mean, when I mean, I was. 
but I don't snare. You understand now? <laughs> well, I, that's what I can. That that's the trouble I can remember now. But I had a lot of trouble that I went that. See, <laughs> you don't want to know, bro. To be honest, I don't think I want to change anything that has happened to me in my life. Even though I know that there, there are very, there are a lot of um um sad and terrible things that have happened to me but the truth is for them to happen that was that is why i'm where i am right now because if i had changed anything i will not be with the people i know now i'll not be with my husband i'll not be with, like you understand the level i am right now i will not be in the level so i think i don't really have anything i want to change but if it's possible to change it and then nothing will happen like it the people i know will still be the people i know i think i would like to change the fact that i had an accident and then that i lost my brother yeah those two things but i miss those days that they used to give me free money i miss those days that i don't have trouble i just buy sweets and biscuits i miss those days that i don't have problem my problem is just to wake up and play and then my people should allow me to go to my friend's house and play like god money i miss those days who doesn't miss it i think my dream job is to be a well established well known um social media manager in the world i think that's just my dream job uh, i think is instagram i think i like instagram but of late i don't know like of late everything is just so annoying like i don't know if it's if it's age like how old am i even saying if it's age i don't know if it's i don't know but everything like all the social media are just so annoying like i'm just there so i'm mostly on netflix just watching movie or sleeping yes or sleeping my god like right now like right now yeah unless you want to give me a camera a new tripod like flexible tripod a camera gear a busy guy that is to call it then a phone gear a busy guy it's gear yeah phone gear yeah then i would like to yeah those three things i would like somebody to give it to me as a gift but if nobody give it to me as a gift i'll definitely get it i'll save up and then buy one one day inshallah i think all the hours because basically my phone is always in my hand always in my hand because i'm always watching movies so and i like it being close to my face do you understand but the tv is some kind of far and i use medicated glasses so at times i'm just ugh, let me just watch from my phone i think i listen to all genre of music well like blues jazz like r b pop like reggae i like all i listen to all but i'm more of let's say r b because that's what everybody's listening to ah my best friend we all know i'll see my husband now <laughs> i can't count to them let me not lie i don't even i can't even count so then they some of them that those ones that they were the one dating me i was not dating them those that were very <laughs> see they are just there i don't even know how to answer that question i think i like everything food yeah mm -hmm. how would i say what makes me like your food is my mood you understand i can like something now and then the next time i'm like ah no i don't like it so i don't really have the best food like that eat anything that is nice but i like meat sha anything meat i'm here <laughs> I think the best part of being in a relationship is the fact that you have somebody there like for you mentally emotionally and like i think mentally and emotionally you have somebody to fall back to that is the best part of being in a relationship i, mean, I don't know but i think i'm a team player i'm a people people person i have good communication skill if i want to i can make friends very very easily if i want to and i i, I think i'm I, I i i'm a good listener yeah i listen very very well those are the features i think i have that make me a very wonderful person i love to sing when i'm in the mood i love to dance when i'm in the mood but i like all i love singing and i love dancing at the same time i like cats i'm a cat person so shout out to the cat family hey all of you that love i love cats out there may god bless you and may god reward you for feeding those beautiful and cute animals <laughs> and then putting up with all their their catty cattiness attitude you know what i mean now <laughs> i don't think about a favorite color but i have colors that i like i think i like red i like maroon i like brown i like blue i recently started liking 
orange i don't know why see i just like colors that go with my skin to be honest but when i was small coming up anytime you ask me i'll tell you i like red <laughs> yeah i think it's air <sighs> i can't live without it <laughs> uh i think my worst nightmare is I think it's losing my husband, losing my mom or my dad. Like I don't want see, I don't even want to talk about it very well. That's my worst nightmare. Losing people very, very close to me. What is the best advice I've ever received? I think I think this is the last question. So I will just take time to answer because this actually it sounds a little bit deep. Uh the best advice I have ever gotten from anybody is uh, the fact that i should always try to let go like i should always try to forgive i should try to let go and i should not hold things like deep in my heart like i should just let go i think basically that's the best advice i've ever gotten from anybody i should let go that's just it so i think so far so good i have been doing that letting things go they can be very very painful and annoying trust me like <laughs> but letting it go i feel is the best freedom anyone can give to himself so yeah that's just so guys this is the end of this vlog this is the end of this youtube video please do not forget to like share and subscribe and as i said i am sorry for not being consistent inshallah i am here inshallah we are going to be together for a very long time and i told you why i have not been uploading videos is because i've been going through one or two things which inshallah very soon i think you guys will, will know what i'm saying but for now i don't think if it's time i want it to i want the situation to show itself by itself like ta -da! <laughs> do you get yeah so yeah basically that's just it and thank you so much for still being here with me thank you so much i love you guys like you guys are now family you guys will understand how good is to say so see you guys in my next youtube video bye